my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is Tuesday, March 17th. Uh, the year is 2020. Um, yesterday I did a video. I think of some of you um, um, had some. Um, I think some of you all did a, um, I did a video and some of you all misunderstood what I was saying. So let me try to see if I can clarify a few things. Um, let me put this phone on mute. People, I'm literally reading text messages about people who are upset because LA Fitness is closed. Y'all better find something else to do besides sit up in LA Fitness all day. Go, Pete, my park has great exercise equipment. Go running, go jogging, calisthenics. They got pull up, they got everything. Go over there. Get just some gloves on and go work out at the Piedmont Park. Shit. Gym will be, it ain't the end of the rail. The gym, the gyms will be open in a few weeks. So, um, I made this the comment that, and this, let me clarify this. So, I'm, I'm keeping keep it simple because it doesn't matter what I say. You niggas here with your motherfucking money here. God damn, y'all niggas get on my fucking nerves. You, I say left. He said go right. Why don't you tell us go right? I said no, I said go left. No, you didn't, motherfucker. We heard you say go right. In the event that the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, man-made, God, I didn't heard so much shit about this shit, trying to, if the health system is overwhelmed, treating patients who have no chance to recover, regardless of their age and circumstances, it looks as if the elderly people are suffering the worst, and their rate of survival rate is low. So... At some point, we have to make a decision. What they're doing in Italy, China, um, um, France, other countries are already making these decisions. Iran, the elderly people who they who have been stricken with this virus, and they know they cannot um, survive it, they're not spending the equipment, time, and energy on those patients who, and most of them are elderly, 70, 80, whatever. They're just letting them um, die peacefully. Now, I had this conversation with my mother. My mother agreed with me 100%. Why would they spend so much time with someone elderly in her age trying to keep them alive when they could focus on younger people, if that were the case, who have a better chance of surviving? Who have families and children, whatever. They would... And like my mother said, I'd rather they don't work on me. Go ahead and, and, and work on those people. Give them that chance. But a lot, a lot of y'all felt like, well, didn't understand. A lot of y'all didn't understand what I was saying because you don't understand shit you hear with your motherfucking moment here. Now, if the, like I said, if, if it came to that here in the United States, which it has already come to in other countries, they've had to make a decision. Someone 70, 80, 90 years of age um, to put them on a ventilation. First, to recover from all this is going to be impossible. Very difficult. Somebody brought this up of Earl. Well, Earl was in fairly good health when he was in excellent health. When, when he caught pneumonia, went to the hospital and got, when he caught the flu, which turned to pneumonia, he ended up in the hospital. His recovery rate, recovery rate was higher because of his age and health. Had he had some health issues, God forbid, it could have been any damn thing. The name of the Lord, his uh, recovery, he would not have recovered so, so fast. You had a healthy man who went in, walked into the hospital. He didn't remember him rolling, he walked in there. So his recovery, his chance of recovery is high. He just, he just needed to get through the ventilation. They had to put him on ventilation, give his lungs time to heal. They had to put him on antibiotics. He didn't have the coronavirus. He had he had influenza. He had the flu. They tested him. He came back for influenza. They tested him for all types of bacteria and viruses. He had influenza, which they treated him for while he was in a cell of um, the, the, the induced coma, where they had him on a ventilator, heart equipment, and dialysis. So that gives his body a chance. His kidneys had all his organs were messing up. Kid, kidneys had stopped. Were not functioning normally. Heart was not functioning normally. Lungs were not functioning nor normally. He had um, septic. He went septic at that point. So they had to clear up that bacteria. But he had a higher survival rate versus someone two doors down that was 
90 years of age going through the same thing. And there were a lot of older folks in that hospital going through that. And you have to understand, you got a team of nurses and doctors. They're human too. They picking and choosing who gets what. Happens every motherfucking day. Y'all just don't understand that. I was there watching it. I was watching it. So if the coronavirus gets so out of control here, and it may, it may not, who knows, hell shit. Only time will tell. Then we'll know how they're going to handle it. But, they, but right now, they I, I know yesterday I read here in Atlanta, or in Georgia, rather, there's a case. A husband and wife, and they're in their 30s. And the wife is on a ventilator in critical condition. They both have the coronavirus, tested positive for the coronavirus. She's on a, they're both high school, they're both principals at some school district. But anyway, she um, is in critical condition on a ventilator. She's in her 30s. And her husband is just as ill, but he wasn't on a ventilator. So I could I was trying to figure out what was going on with him. They both were in the hospital dealing with the coronavirus, a couple, husband and wife, with children, and they're trying to keep the wife alive. And she's only in her thirties, like thirty something years of age. So I'm I think you all misunderstood what I was saying yesterday, cause you don't listen. You niggas just don't listen. Anyway, moving on from that. So they closed the gyms, restaurants, and bars here, which I knew that was going to happen. Some people are very upset about this. I don't know why they're upset. Y'all, I've been, the last few, ever since I ate that hot dog at cooking, I haven't been feeling good. I mainly have been here. I mean, I worked out, tried to attempt to work out a couple times, and I realized I'm not feeling good. I don't know what's going on. Let me sit my ass here in the house. I feel better. It's funny because the day starts off feeling good, but as the nighttime falls, I start feeling tired and weaker and get my ass in that damn bed. But right now, I feel good. I'm sipping some coffee. I just ate a bowl of oatmeal. I'm going to drink my egg whites. I'm going to clean up the house over here nice and clean. Ain't got shit else to do. I'm kind of hot, but I'm also drinking this coffee, too. I just took my blood pressure medicine, took all my vitamins and pills and stuff, and even got my vitamin C. Let me see if y'all can see that chewable vitamin C. Got my milk thistle. Yeah, oh, this shit ain't gonna do no damn good in that damn way. But anyway, so I'm just sitting here chilling, listening to all my my friends complain because they can't go to the gym. Oh well, um. It's interesting. Um, uh, let me say this. Because everybody seems to think there's some type of conspiracy. Um, but every time I, I, I'm a history buff and I've read about the flu from 1918, I've read about so many flus and pandemics just over the past few years, me just, you know, Googling stuff and reading stuff. So when this popped up, I, I remember stuff that I read in the past. I went back and reread the stuff. And I don't know where people get these conspiracy theories from, that there's a massive conspiracy. The only thing that concerns me about what's taking place right now with the coronavirus is um, it hasn't done that much damage around the world. To It hasn't killed that many people um, that they have to shut everything down. That's kind of, and it could be because they're just maybe being, taking some extraordinary precautions. Because, like I said, the flu killed 10,000 people here in the United States. Now, come on now. And so far, we've had 40 deaths here. I mean, how many deaths do they think going to come out of this? I think they're, they're trying to, they believe that this may be worse, more deadlier than the flu. But we don't know yet. So, um, it will take some time to do that. So, they're trying to slow everything down. But they've effectively killed the economy. It's dead. That motherfucker dead. Might as well go ahead and bury it. It won't become Frank, Dr. Frankenstein couldn't bring that shit back to life. A lot of people, at, when this is over with, a lot of people are going to be unemployed on unemployment. A lot of restaurants are going to close. Drastic. It's not. Prior to this event happening, um, things are not going to be the same. It won't be like it was before. That's over with. Not for a long time. So, get ready, because that's how this is going to play out.
That's how it's going to play out. So we shall see. Um, I just wonder, um, I just wonder how this is going to play out. Hold on, y'all. Talking to my mother. Trying to keep my mother staying in the damn house and she's so busy. I gotta go here. I gotta go there. I said, Miss Hampton, you better stay your ass in that damn house. If you need something, I'll go get it for you. If you need me to go pick it up, let my mama, mama get that Honda, Honda Accord, that Honda Accord out there just revving the engine. I said, Miss Hampton, don't you be in that Honda Accord running all over Atlanta. She's just like, <laughs> Mama. Take your foot off the gas pedal, honey. That car, you can go back in the house for a few more days until this blow over. I gotta go here. I gotta go there. Just get your ass back in that damn house. My mother stays extremely busy. I mean, for someone her age, she's still on the go. So maybe that's her way of staying active, honey. I look. I've been, I've been literally been here for the past few days. I'm very comfortable watching me some Netflix, uh, cleaning up, cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, wash clothes, fold clothes, made up the beds. Went through my little underwear drawer, refolded my underwear, put all my socks. Finally matched all my socks together. It ain't happened since 1972. All they all matched and perfect in the drawer. Folded all my stuff all neat. They organized my closet. I got, I'm like, what's the fuck we running out these streets for? Everything closed. I really wasn't feeling well. So what's the point? I didn't have problems in the house. I just took off someplace, and that's the last motherfucker that need to be going someplace, but. I was glad he left. Good. See ya. I'll see you later on tonight. Or tomorrow. <laughs> For that matter. There was another one of the people he got to get dressed in. Boom. As soon as he can get that, soon, soon as soon as he's able to walk and get in that, that Jeep rolling out there, that Jeep was hauling the ass out of here. Where is he going? <laughs> Where? Some people have a very active lifestyle, y'all. That's why I said I'm, I'm more of a homebody. I ain't got to be ripping and running the streets of Atlanta. My cars have low miles on People in my car say, man, this car only got 2,000 miles on the city. ain't went nowhere. <laughs> Shit, to the gym and back. I don't be ripping and running the streets. I just don't. This is all that leads to car accidents, shit happen, arguing, people, carjacking, shooting, robberies, killings. Mm -mm. I just have to sit at home and watch me some TV. Now, if I want to, and also, y'all have to remember, I like vacationing, so I was going to drive down to Jacksonville Beach. Jacksonville Beach, I had even booked a room and everything. And so, but I'm watching this news. They closed the beaches in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, and I was like, I don't want to go to the beach. Just, I, just, I just like going to the beach. Oh, I'm going to post a video before this what is about this blow dryer. Use the blow dryer to dry the sinus areas. I've had sinus problems for years. And I noticed something that every spring I would have sinus issues. But every time when the, when, the, when we would go for spring break and I would go down to Miami, which would be much hotter than it was in Atlanta, by the time I swam in the ocean and did some stuff, my sinuses miraculously cleared up. So every time I would come back to Atlanta, my sinuses were clear. I don't know if it was from the heat or uh, the salt water in the ocean, but it would just clear it. I would come back and feel so much better for a few months into the fall where I'd have to do the same thing again, sinus problems. I'd run out to the to Miami someplace or down to the Caribbean, swim in the ocean, hang out there for a while and come back to my sinus. It's just something weird. So I saw that video, which I'm going to post attached to this. But actually, the video is already on my YouTube channel. You can watch it before this video. And I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't have the, uh, I don't own that video. So I don't want to attach. I just to toss it up there. But there might be some truth to heat being able to clear up sinus issues and infections and stuff like that. I don't know. But it just I just know from my own personal experience from traveling to warm climates like Miami or the Caribbean or Jamaica or um, Cancun, when I go those through those places, going down there with sinus issues, I normally come back with them clear. And it could be because I'm away from the trees. It could be a lot of stuff going on. But we all know the coronavirus is running wild. 
it is very concerning to me that what's this carries me. I, I don't. I, I think we might be overreacting, but I don't know. I think that we might be overreacting. The shutdown of all the schools, the restaurants, the stores. I've never seen anything like this before. This, and we don't have um, enough fatalities to really. We haven't got to that point yet. But I guess they're trying to keep it from getting to that point. So I just think it could be. I, I have my thoughts about it. You know. Let's just see what happens over the next few weeks. But um, I don't think it has gotten to that point where um, things have um, gotten that severe that the shutdown is up down. They have been made. The governor of New York was, is talking on CNN now, and people are upset because he closed the bars and the restaurants and all this stuff. I just don't know. I mean, so... I don't I don't know. But I do firmly, firmly believe that Donald Trump dropped the ball on this from the very beginning. And then he made the statement that he wanted the states to order, instead of waiting for the federal government to order their own ventilators, I'm thinking that's going to set up a bidding war between states trying to get this equipment when the feds could just make a blanket order for all. It's just, he doesn't get it. He don't get it. And those of you who support that food, y'all need to be slapped with a wet noodle. That man is fucking crazy. And we have to tolerate. But hope, I'm, I'm, this might be what gets him out of there. This might this might be the straw that breaks the camel back. Um, all these supporters of his supporting this crazy ass man. This might be this might be it for him. We'll see. But anyway, um, I need to take a shower. I'm sweaty. You know, so I'm going to hop in the shower. There's a couple of videos I wanted to do, but I took this Benadryl last night. I'm still kind of drowsy. I'm like, oh, God, this damn Benadryl. I've been taking this Benadryl at nighttime to help keep my sinuses clear, and it works. But God damn, that should be the next day like a zombie running around. I'm like, so I drink a little coffee, take a hot bath. I'm going to take a shower, put some clothes on, and you have to get back on the couch and watch TV. <laughs> Don't know where shit. Because <laughs> uh, it's kind of dreary outside. I ain't, I, I ain't just, I, I look, y'all. I am just comfortable sitting here watching some Netflix or watching some CNN. I got my coffee. I got some food. I may have to make a run to the grocery store and pick up a few things. I need to look and see what I got. I know I don't. I got some steaks in the refrigerator. And I got some veggies. So I can have, I got my, I got my lunch figured out. I'm having steak and veggies. Some red meat. So then I just have to figure out dinner. So I might go to the store and pick up some stuff for dinner. And um, we got a bunch of stuff here, but we're running out of uh, meat and chicken. And Earl says I cook too healthy. Okay. So anyway, you just ain't that something you you, 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 you you how can a person cook too healthy? But I do want to make a salad, too. So maybe I go to the store and get something for dinner tonight and then something to make a salad. That would be nice. Well, anyway, let me let me talk to my crazy mother and see what she needs because she just determined. She got to go here. I used to look at to go there and I'd sit your ass down, Miss Hampton, have a seat. She just determined. I just don't get it. But anyway, let me give her a call. If you like my videos, click like. I look forward to hearing you all's views. And I'm sorry if I was all over the place to, but to text my mother because she just determined she's going to leave that house and go someplace. I put some gave. I don't understand. She went to the grocery store. She gave everything she need. What do you need to go do, Ms. Amron? What? I was a car needed service. And you can do that. That car, The car don't need service if it's parked in your driveway. I scheduled an appointment. We ain't worried about that right now. Let that car sit. Just like I'm letting my car sit. My am scheduled for service too. I ain't going over there. Let it sit, Miss Amber. That car, let it rest. We don't want the car to get the coronavirus. Let it sit. It might, you know, we don't know it might affect cars. Mm, that's what I'm telling. Mom, you know that car? They say cars might get the coronavirus. She, she, she probably said it. <gasps> okay, I better turn over. Let me go cover it up with the cover. Make sure it's safe because she's going to need that damn car. Because when the coronavirus blow over, she's going to be out there. <laughs> Anyway, y'all enjoy your Tuesday. 
It is Tuesday, March 17th, the year 2020. Let me get, let me talk to her real quick. Let's calm her down. She just don't get it. I'm out of here, y'all. Enjoy your Tuesday.